get ourselves buttoned up and get on out of this camp. Y'all remember I talked about my sway bar uh, link bolt was touching the frame a little bit. So I, I got up under there and readjusted the brackets that hold the sway bar to the I-beams and kind of recentered the bar underneath the truck. And I so I just stopped here to check that real quick because this is the first drive since I made that adjustment. And everything looks good. It's more centered. It was off to the driver's side a little bit. And now it's uh, much more centered. It looks a lot better. I think we fixed that. just left Custer, South Dakota, and we're headed west on 16. And coming up here, we had to go through a cut. So this is a lot of ups and downs, and we're headed down here. Uh, this cut you go through at a low elevation, and then once you get through it right here, and now we're back up the other side. So the truck did great. I cannot complain at all. Climbed all the hills at speed. I had no issues. And then we break out into the grasslands on the other side, which was kind of exactly the plan so we could stretch out and relax a little bit. It's a new state. We're in Wyoming. Never been here before. We just crossed. That was a nice wake-em-up drive there. But 
this is what I wanted is to get out here into this kind of topography where it's stretched out a little bit more. Not so tight. Now I gotta I gotta wait for Jeff to catch up. Do you know where Jeff is? Can you smell him? Can you smell bear? Huh? Can you smell bear? I don't know where bear is. We had some long uphills there. I know he was slowing down on those in the Jeep. Jeep is a four cylinder, by the way. Five speed transmission. Stick, it's a manual transmission. So I'm only doing like 53. I'm trying to slow down. I'm probably gonna have to pull over up here somewhere and wait for him, let him catch up. hunk of equipment right there. Wow. So we are in uh, Wyoming, was it Keystone? I'm, I'm sorry, I forget the name of the town we just got here. Stop for a second. Even out of Newcastle, we've turned south uh, on 85. We are looking for warmer weather, so we are headed south. Now this is going to be a multiple day trip, uh, heading south the entire time, staying off of the interstates, um, and staying away from Denver once we get down into Colorado. So we saw some areas that I've never been through before. This was a really excellent drive and we found some beautiful places to spend our nights. And so, uh, all of that is upcoming in the next couple of videos, this trip and these spots that we stayed at. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It really was just every day figuring out where we were going, figuring out a place to stay for the night. So really just by the seat of our pants and it was a lot of fun and especially with the weather getting warmer that felt so good you know we'd been weeks in the cold weather so this the sun uh, it felt so good to be to be in some warmer temperatures hi puppy hi Look at these things coming. Wow. What the heck is that? Yeah, 
We gotta shut down the whole town to get through here. That thing is huge! Wow! That's a big one! We picked a good time to pull over. Wow! Look at that. They're taking up the whole road. town park to take a little break. Ah, looks like this is all new. Look at this. Good for them. I'll have to put the town that we're in on the screen. I don't know it off the top of my head. Let me tell you how I figured out where we are in the video. I was testing a new dash cam uh, while we were doing this drive. So I actually have two dash cams running. You've been watching my existing dash cam, which is a King Slim D2. They sent me their newest version, a King Slim D4. I'm going to give this to one of you, but I want to tell you about it, a feature that it has that mine doesn't, and I'm okay with mine. I don't really need an upgrade, but this has GPS data integrated into the video files. So you can take your video file, open it up in their software, and it'll show you on a map exactly where you are as that video is being filmed. Another thing that this has, this will shoot in 4K. This also comes with a backup camera included. So you can have a dash cam pointing forward, you can mount the backup camera out on the back, and you have two cameras now. So when we pull out of this park here, I'll show some footage from this new dash cam. I mounted this just for the one afternoon and tested it out. So if you want to win this D4, we're going to do a giveaway on December 14th. So you're going to put the keyword in this video in your comment. You're going to put King Slim, K-I-N-G-S-L-I-M. Now King Slim is an Acaso company. If you've heard of Acaso, I have action cams from Acaso. I have two of them that I've used over the years very high quality gear you're going to be really happy with this i guarantee it's got a lot of features and that gps feature is really cool put your keyword king slim down in the comment i'll do the drawing on december 14th i'll post a video on december 15th with the winner do not respond to anyone in the comments that says you've won and send me 150 bucks to ship you this camera because that's not me. I never contact you in the comments. I only post the winner in a video. So come back here on December 15th, watch the video, see if you won this King Slim camera. Uh, got restrooms too. Very cool. Oh, so happy dog. 122, so 130. So, we're going to look at the map and, you know, a couple more hours of driving and then find a place for the night. Oh, burnouts. Look at the log cabin. I don't know much about log cabins, but... That sure looks like real wood. It's got a chimney and it's got wood shingle roof. Really cool. Come here, let's see if there's a plaque that tells us what it is left. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 
cabin in the park. 1880. Homestead cabin of Eugene Biglow Wilson. Pioneer from Como, Illinois. Built in 1880, 1890, he brought his bride Isabel Mack Wilson to this cabin on the Running Water Ranch. Well, Eugene and Isabel, that's a great looking cabin. And it has stood the test of time. 1880 to 1980 is 100 years, add another 42. 142 years old. I gotta tell you brother, you did a good job. Way to go, Eugene. Wow, that's some bleached wood. Huh, really cool. Hey, did you find a Christmas tree? That looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, this is some soft, soft grass. I could live right here, and I know he could too. Place to stay for the night. This is a wildlife area and they have spots that you can camp right out on the lakeside but we drove down there and it's closed to vehicles after October 1st but the gates are all open but we decided just to turn around and come back up here to this parking lot you know we're just staying the night so we're at a, a parking lot for this wildlife area. It's a good drive today um, had a pretty strong cross breeze, but the truck handles it so well. I put it on cruise control, 62 miles an hour, and all of those long uphills, no problem. I did want to say I have not gotten the P1211 code for this whole almost 2,000 miles. Hasn't popped up once. And I feel like there were situations where it definitely would have popped up. So, maybe it was that fuel filter that was somewhat plugged, so it was causing low fuel pressure possibly. But truck's running like a rock, everything is working perfect, knock wood, everything is running great, it handles so well, it feels so good, 
that cross breeze and I was barely touching the steering wheel with my hands. That's the sway bar is working. Absolutely. Lefty's made himself comfortable. I'm going to make something to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs>